Welcome to a new edition of the Christy Taylor Show. Such a special edition indeed. And yes, I'm summertime ready, y'all. Super excited to have you all here on this Friday. Going to kick off a evening of live streaming interviews here first on Facebook with one of my homeboys from Memphis. And I also will be going to Instagram at 730 talking to a De Detroit native. Oh, she's amazing. Rose Marie Bay. And uh, of course, we're going to get it started right here on Facebook and on YouTube. We're live streaming, which means you are invited to participate in tonight's conversation. Now, let me tell you about this young man that I'm bringing up to you. It is none other than Delwan Coleman. And let me tell you a little bit about him. From felon to founder, Delwan Coleman built each brand one brick at a time. He never let society control his narrative. Every obstacle was always an opportunity. He's born and raised in South Memphis. He's living proof that roses do grow from concrete. Now, Delwan is a self-made full-time entrepreneur who has created brands and services only to help positive outlets for future generations to come. Now, to name just a few of his companies, he owns Movie Go Inc., which was inspired by the indie film community. Coleman and Neil, an upscale fashion line. Matter of fact, I think he's sporting one of his tees tonight. And he also has Wedding Heaven, an online wedding store. And he also has another company we may have a chance to discuss. Now, all this brings and provides all of the needs for a special day. Now, this list doesn't encompass anything and everything he's created, but it definitely shows where his heart lies, and that is in entrepreneurship. I want y'all to help me welcome back to the Christy Taylor Show. He's been here a couple of times uh, talking about amazing things, and we're talking about Delwan Coleman. Good evening. Happy Friday. Thank you. The introduction, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, that sounds like me. That sounds like me. That sounds like me. Yeah, it sounds like me. Well, you know, first of all, I'm super excited to have you here again in 2022. Um, wow, what do you, tell me, first of all, you're from South Memphis. You constantly rep the city, the 901. As a matter of fact, you have a new uh, movement, 901 Union. Let's jump in right there. Let's talk about that. Uh, the 901 Union is basically a group of uh, forward thinkers and entrepreneurs. We meet online. Sometimes we meet in person when we choose to, but for the most part, we meet online every Sunday religiously, and we a, we cover different topics um, from financial literacy, uh, groupism, group economics, uh, if somebody needs help with anything, uh, if you have questions, you know, and we're just here to help. Every Sunday, we meet up uh, online, a private group on Facebook, and you're welcome to join. Ari, no more. Oh, wait a minute. I muted my uh, mic by accident. Okay. Yeah. So um, the first thing that a person can do is actually go to 901union.com, which is the website, as well as find 901 Union on Facebook, become a member of the group. And what inspired you to do that? I had the idea for a minute. Um, but Deborah Brandon, she heard the idea. Like I was like sharing some stuff with her and she heard um you know me talking about it or it's like an idea she's like man we should really do that and she just kept pushing and pushing and pushing it then uh, created the dot com and i just stopped pointing out like all of my ideas and what i you know was thinking as far as in like hey let's just make a group for forward thinkers and entrepreneurs and people that want to see change and be part of change not just asking for help but asking to help Wow, and, that's a difference. That's different. Yeah. Okay, now what led you on the path to entrepreneurship? Because of course, part of your, your bio says from felon to founder. Um, has that influenced your entrepreneurship? Uh yeah, I I've always been I don't know. I, I not a not an entrepreneur, but um a forward thinker, you know. So um, the reason I'm a felon is because of the CDs and DVDs. But, you know, I still was like hiring people. I didn't know I had employees until I got out of jail, you know. But I was always I serious. I didn't even know I was employing people. I was just, just helping. Like, I just, you know, if somebody needed uh, some money or they needed a job, I was just like, hey, make you a book of CDs and DVDs. You can sell them. Just bring me, you know, like a small profit back. 
that's you know but and now that i'm if you know and now doing it the like the legal way i guess it's the same thing it's just um you either selling a product or a service and right. then once you understand your consumer you know if you're selling dog food you sell you 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 your consumer uh, would be people that have dogs right you know but i wouldn't stop at dog food because some people have cats so i would have dog food and cat food so then you would end up with a pet store or a pet hustle or a pet gig or a pet service. Um, if, yeah. you, if that was your focus. If I started off with dog food, I would eat cat food and uh, then like a, like a daycare for the animals. So separated. So while they're in the environment, I got product and merchandise to sell to them. So I'd be having a, I was having have a service because, you know, people like to have their animals um, groomed and kept when they go out of town or while they're at work or whatever, however, and then why not have, you know, healthy foods or whatever for the animal? It's a, it's a, it's a big demographic. It, it truly is because we have a lot of people who are consider themselves pet parents and pet moms and pet dads who uh, are dog moms and dog dads. Yeah. So definitely that's just one example of how your mind works when it comes to entrepreneurship. And of course you said, you know, the yeah. reason why you were, you know, you you were a felon is because you had, you know, you were selling DVDs, which of course um, the product being the DVDs, but the issue was, and the legitimacy was the piracy part. It's like you didn't own the DVDs. You didn't have the right to the DVDs. So how right. has that, even though, but you still have a serious love for movies and you now have a new company called Movie Go. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, again, you know, when um, I shot my first indie film, again, I was just trying to get a lot of directors together. To be like, hey man, let's work together like they do, like in Atlanta and whatever. I'm seeing right. producers and directors go. And every time I go to Atlanta, the end thing is like everybody's working together. Like you're a part of some kind of tribe or you know group group that's working on something. So I was just like, when I came back, I was like, yeah, let's do something together. So I got a lot of directors together, and then my cousin's husband. And after so many episodes, I was like, man, how do y'all make money from this? And they were like, you don't. And I was just like, why not? And then <laughs> light bulb. <laughs> like, okay, I see why y'all don't understand it. So it's no different from, you know, if we started out like he was like dog food, and then I was like, well, y'all want cat food. And then I was like, well, okay, let's just a, let's get a daycare for him. Yeah. And then no different from indie film. So I see it the same way. You let's know. talk about how you grew, you know, from doing a short film to web series to actually creating movie go and what what service are you providing? Are you doing products or services when it comes to Movie Go? Both. So, um, not only do we provide actors, directors, writers, um, um, costume designers, uh, people that uh, does marketing, uh, we also can produce your merchandise, like your posters, like these posters behind me. Mm -hmm. Like I did that. I did that one for uh, Nikki J. She she had a play, right? And during the pandemic, you know, everything was shut down. So right. I was like, what about I turn the play? And she was a man, I'm talking about ready to release it. They rehearsed and everything. I got the commercial and everything. Then the pandemic hit. I was just like, man, why not just turn the play into a film? And she was like, what do you mean? And excuse me, I was like, look, check it out. Let's, let's do this. And man, we shot the episodes. So um, we turned it into a movie and uh, it's called Scattered Peace scattered pieces and it was one of the shows, one of the films that was shown in the award show that we did uh was that this year or last year last year yeah 2021 one of the things yeah. that i you know as far as i know how you approach like you said you you put together a series like people need an actor people need directors they need writers they need costume designers set designers they need people to create their movie posters or their demo reels and you're providing those services or at least those connections um as well videography you have a, a photography company that you do primarily commercially for weddings as well but you provide that to the creative community what can you say Past that, I see that you then took all of that relationship 
to then create the award show, which is also a place where you have learned how to monetize and provide merchandise. Let's talk about that. And this entrepreneurial ventures that you do. Yeah, well, everything is product or service. So um, with, with me seeing the directors work so hard, the film community go so hard. I was like, why not? Give, let's create a have our own award show, you know. And uh, I took my time out, you know, scamming through kind of trophies and be like, man, we want our, I want our own iconic trophy. And I would just reward people, you know, the people that have helped me build the company. And now the company has grown to the point where um, we're basically shooting a film. I don't want to call it like couch potato, but I'm saying we can just the, a regular consumer. So if a regular consumer right now, I'm working on a film called Love Littles. I've never met the lady a day in my life. I've talked to her on the phone. She's sweet as ever now, but she came with an idea. She had the capital. Uh, every every person she picked was from Movie Go. Uh, for the most part, yeah, we did the casting call. And again, I still haven't met her, but we're in the middle of halfway. We're doing like a series. But again, it works for anybody, you know, and I know her script wasn't kind of like put together all well. So we had writers to come in and kind of like, you know, polish it up to make it make sense. And man, after after we finish, after I finish editing and everything, it'd be like a testimony for people that are just regular consumers that say, hey, man, it's something I've been wanting to do. It's, I got an idea or film I would like to do. As long as I got the income, uh, we have the services and uh, you know, I like that because even that's just one of your businesses and you have two other businesses that I know including let's talk about the your wedding services um, yeah. and how that works into what you do as well yeah um, I've been doing weddings for about a decade and uh, it kind of started with my friend he was like black people don't get married and I was like yeah they do not because Sorry. Um, I did a wedding and I was just, man, I just saw it. You know, I was just like, you know, why aren't we in these, you know, books? I got a wedding book right now on my lap. You know what I'm saying? I'm studying it. And why can't we have our own, you know, thing? Like, why not? You know, I'm just saying. And I just didn't like the narrative, like, Black people don't get married or we're not championing that or just promoting it. You know, we'll, we'll promote other dysfunctional stuff, but why can't we promote love? You know, and and, love and marriage, love and marriage. Yeah. So, so that's how um, you. So out of that inspiration, you created a wedding photography and videography company. Um, but you also, um, being the entrepreneur that you are, champion entrepreneurship. You have two other businesses. Let's talk about those. What's the other two? <laughs> <Great talk. laughs> you like you have? Huh? Yes, sir. That. Yeah. With the law and service, that's why I got this on. But I know they like, is it wearing the same clothes every day? It's like not produce clothes, but uh, when I clean myself up, I tend to just pull out another shirt or a new shirt. It might be the same color. <laughs> I just put it on. And I, I hate the fact that I don't have the expo shirt on, but I'm still sitting in my own brands, you know. Right, yeah. which is Coleman and Neil. What what launch, what caused you to launch a fashion line? And how did that um, happen? Huh? How did that happen? I was trying to go into well, me and my partner Neil was trying to go into business with a guy, and um, it just it didn't work out. Unfortunately, it was going to be an urban line, and then um, um, my partner Neil was like, "Man, let's just do what's Coleman and Neil." And, it didn't sound like an urban line. And then we looked up under the hood and then I started looking at how names uh, carry a, a, a bigger price tag. Like, Correct. you know, Gargamo, St. Laurent, Gucci family, you know. Uh, and I was just like, call me in there. And everybody that heard it was like, man, that sounds, you know, fancy. Yeah. And from that point on, we just... That's an important thing when people are creating businesses and I do branding with Christy Taylor Consulting. One of the services I provide is branding 
and helping people with strategies is the importance of what's in the name, what is it communicating to the audience or to the consumer, and do your products or your services line up with your overall branding. Uh, so that's extremely important. So of course, they can also go to um, your Facebook page, which is Del Juan Coleman. Del Juan Coleman, you've done some recent photography. You are a videographer as well as a photographer. An amazing recent um, line has been released, and I love the uh, the print ads that you're doing with that. Now, last but not least, I just want to make sure we get to this because I wanted to establish how much you are personally committed to entrepreneurship. Um, the reason why you have an event coming up at the end of the month. Now, your last business is your lawn service. How did that start? Um, being the fact that I'm a convicted felon and um, sometimes, man, a lot of times, that's kind of like an invisible wall to stop people from being hired. So um, I was like, I remember somebody saying, man, hey, you're doing God's work when you cut it and clean, you know, the yard and the bushes and stuff. And I was just like, that's me. And you're like, you can eat off the land. So yeah. with that being said, uh, just looking at it, the average person, man, that's working an eight or 12 hour shift, don't want to cut grass. Even if they got all the equipment, yeah. they don't want to cut it. So I'm a full time entrepreneur. I wake up like, hey, you know, and put my team together. We go out and Again, that's why you see a lot of different ethnic. They out doing everything with the, yes. the yard, you know, landscaping. Like landscaping, correct. Yeah, it's, yes. it's a lot of money. It's a lot. Of money. Yeah, residential and commercial beautification um, I mean, is be extremely uh, very lucrative. Yeah, that's because in some cases, when you're branding it, once again, what are you calling it? Is it a lawn care? Is it landscaping? Is it beautification? All of that can reflect different price tags to do the same thing, which is create that curb appeal uh, when it comes to your home or business. Now, speaking of business, let's talk about the reason we are on here today. At the end of this month, we have an expo that I'm honored to co-host with a fellow radio personality colleague of mine, Angela Jackson. Um, let's talk about the expo. Uh, well, I did it at 18 to miss out entrepreneur expos when I get a plethora of entrepreneurs and businesses and services and speakers and entertainers, put them all in one building and up under a black on roof, start out event center, Miss Pam building, and we just fellowship, practice group economics. I put the medicine in the candy because they don't even know that they practice in group economics. So I do it all the time. You know, to let them see that, hey, we can work together. Easy peasy. You know, let's establish first and foremost, you did the first one in 2018, which yeah. is, let me see if I can do this real quick. Hold on. Come oh. on. We. <laughs> oh. Union.com, 901union.com, the Mid-South Entrepreneur Expo is happening the last Sunday of May, closing out Memphis in May, supporting entrepreneurship. I will be co-hosting with Angela Jackson, and you have an amazing lineup of speakers. I mean, everybody who you have on here, Marco McClendon, Giovanni M., I'm saying it right, Clark, Jesse Ism, Angela Green, Charleston White, Deborah Brandon. I mean, the registration is available online, 901union.com. Amazing guest speakers. And that's just the speakers on that. They can go to the website to see all of the entertainment that's going to be there, the vendors that will be there. Um, let's talk about, you know, some of the people that are some of the speakers and what will they be discussing? Um, I, I really... I don't box um, speakers or artists in. I let them kind of, you know, 
um, tell their story, like um, like Marco McClendon, the mayor from West Memphis. I think that's a, a great plus when you have events where you can bring your children or teenagers or your family members, and they get to meet heroes in real time, you know, and um, or, or or people like you and Angela Jackson, and, uh, Robert Lee, you know, these people, y'all are, you can touch these people, you can, you know, and you got entertainers, um, I mean, singers like uh, Jesse Chisholm, and you know, it's just it's. It, I think it's a good deal, and it's nonstop. Once it rolls, once it starts, people are shopping. You know, I put every vendor on the mic. I make them, I make them come up. And be like, come on, talk about your business. We do our raffles. We're gonna be giving away trips, giving away all kind of good stuff. You know, how important was it, and is it to you? to fraternize or or I should say patronize with black owned venues. I, it, well, it's, it's tribal for me, it's culture for me because um, being the fact that we've been so oppressed and a lot of stuff have been hidden from us. And I don't like the narrative that they paint, uh, especially like black men. So for a black man to be able to produce and put things together and show them that, hey, black men work together, just like as the vendors come in, I'm going to have men there so the women don't have to carry anything or, you know, now as far as in putting it up, I don't know how they want to do their setup, but as far as in carrying and moving stuff, tables, the women won't have to do anything. So you you're going to have an entire team that's assisting you with this uh, amazing expo. <laughs> And for those who are interested in even being a vendor, ha has the deadline passed? Do you still have space? I, I think I got room for like two, two, two or three more vendors. Okay. I think I got one. And we got food trucks. Um, uh, I got this lady. She does, I think, snow cones. I love her setup. And uh, I need to, I got to call her when we get out this too, because she's waiting on me to break out her tickets. But for the most part, man, um, it's, it, it needs to be advertised, you know. It's, it, I don't. I don't want any civil war. I don't think we should be fighting amongst each other. I don't like that narrative. You know what I'm saying? I, and of course, the truth is, is that we have shown. And I'm not even going to go back to African history, but even in American history, there have been many, 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 many um, cities, towns established based on black owned businesses. Even right here in Memphis, entire districts was, you know, to that point at the turn of the century, all up until the 21st century. So we definitely have the ability to, number one, be uh, producers, manufacturers, I mean, from agri from the agrarian society to the 21st century and the uh, information age. So it's just about us being on showcase, having these opportunities to show our solidarity and most of all, to show our expertise. And I'm super excited that as a co-host, you're also giving me an opportunity to talk about um, my new company, Christy Taylor Consulting. You can of course go to my website, ChristyTaylorConsulting.com. I've got a lot going on and I'm really grateful that I will now be with entrepreneurs so I can start introducing myself uh, beyond a media personality as a business owner. That just sounds funny to even say that I am a business owner. Yes, I, Christy Belinda Taylor, put the middle name in there. I'm a business owner, an entrepreneur. Now, before we wrap up, Mr. Coleman, give us information on more on the registration and where they can get their tickets. Uh, just type up the 901union.com. That's 901union.com. And even if you're not a vendor or you can't make it or you're just not sure if you want to be a vendor, now you're a part-time vendor or you just don't know, come. If you have any cards, you can pass them out. You can come and network and just come and see, you know, ask questions. Nobody's wearing fancy pants. So you don't have to worry about nobody having an attitude, acting weird, acting standoffish. Nope. And come on out, man, pass your cards out. It's only 10 bucks. If you want to get a shirt, I'm sorry I'm not wearing it, y'all. I got a common idea. I meant to have my own, the Mid-South Entrepreneur Expo shirt, but we have shirts for sale. And uh, again, just come on out and enjoy yourself. Bring your family, you know.
I love it. I love it. You know, well, thank you all so much for sharing this video. For those who are watching it live, feel free. If you have questions or comments before we um, stop the live stream, you can drop a question or a comment very quickly. And um, if not, you can always drop it in the in the thread later. And we can, of course, check those out and provide you any additional information that you need about attending this upcoming event. And uh, let me see if I can share this very quickly before we go. I'm trying, I'm loving StreamYard. And for those who don't know, I am very, I'm a trainer in StreamYard. And if you have um, a show or by chance you have um, some type of podcast that you want to um, display, and maybe you're a business owner and you're like, Christy, I need to add podcasting or YouTube channel to my business to promote what I'm doing on a consistent basis. And oftentimes, like I have a bookkeeping friend who wants to actually create a YouTube show so she can talk about insights into bookkeeping for entrepreneurs and business people and individuals. So you can be amazed what you can do with media as well, even if it's not your forte. Um, there's very simple ways of this. Oh, you said, well, Christy, I don't want to be seen. Well, I can teach you how to do audio podcasting where you can share your information and your expertise t- um, tips and insights, just like Del Juan does all the time. So he goes a lot, quite a bit and dropping those gems. You know, you hear about Clubhouse and Instagram Lives and Facebook Lives. You can also do the same. And if you need any assistance, once again, check me out, ChristyTaylorConsultant.com. And of course, we are also super excited that coming up, I love this website. First of all, I also do website design. So I just want you to say, I love this Del Juan, uh, the Mid-South Entrepreneur Expo. If you're not networking, you're not working. I said, oh, that's so true. That's so true. And the opportunity to register is available. You can even become a member. But first of all, just go to the website. Go to the website to learn all about the Mid-South Entrepreneur Expo that is coming the last Sunday. That's May the 29th, I believe. Yeah, May 29th. Wow. Next Sunday. Yeah. Not not this Sunday, Sunday, everybody, but the last Sunday. Yeah, next Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah. So super excited about that. Any other comments or questions you want to make sure we give out to the public? No, I'm just so impressed, man, seeing you climb. I just keep seeing you climb. And I think uh, so is this a part of your consulting as far as in like with the podcast and how savvy you are with stream y'all? Like because I've been on a lot of interviews. <laughs> and I would be more than happy to assist them. I would love to help them elevate their game. You know, I've had over 30 years in the industry. And if I want to add my music years, that's about 40 years. I add, I'd like to add in even from my teenage years. Um, yeah, if they want to become like a media pro, I am here for them. That's and a filmmaker because we premiered your I, film. Well, at the okay. well, let, as a matter of fact, he's giving me space because he is promoting entrepreneurship. So, yes, your radio girl is now a rock star media coach and consulting. And as a matter of fact, can you give me an opportunity to share my website? Yes, please do. Oh, my goodness. He's so kind. He's so kind. Let me <laughs> show you all what I'm doing, everybody. He's promoting entrepreneurship, and he's giving me a chance to. Now, of course, y'all, I have become, uh, let me just say this before I, I show my website. I am officially summertime ready my with my new do, but this is my classic look. <laughs> this is my year-round look, um, but in the summertime, honey, we got to you know give my, myself the freedom. So here is my website. And just to give you all an idea of some of the fun things that I'm getting into as an entrepreneur. And thank you, Del Juan, giving me this opportunity. Um, let me just walk you all through it. When you come to ChristyTaylorConsultant.com, you will, first of all, get a nice little greeting from me. Also, I give you an opportunity. I can give you the cheat code to Media Consultant. We have a virtual lounge that we're going to be launching. And I'll be talking to Del Juan about that because we can do some fun things virtually. I do have a new book called calls. Please stop hating yourself. That's available in my bookstore. I even have a couple of merch. Yes, I got to do better. My Emporium, my online store is there. And if you really want to work with me, you want to start with a client discovery. And yes, I'm going to blow the dust off of my bachelor's degree and start offering again private acting lessons. And today I got to give a shout out to Mo Yvonne. She has now signed up to have me be her personal acting coach. 
and I'm looking for interns. Now, this is so important. If you're watching this, you have someone home from college and they got 10 or 15 hours to share during the summer, during the week. I am looking for at least four or five interns. They will work personal with me. I will teach them everything I know and what I'm doing. So definitely want to give you an opportunity for that. If you want to be a guest on my show, you can check that out. And also listen to both my podcast, The Taylor Tipton Show, as well as The Christy Taylor Show. And when you first come to the website, if you want to work with me, I have five core services, um, branding, everything, anything and all things branding. But mainly I love focusing on media consulting. Like if you have, let's say $5,000, you want to know how do you um, properly spend it? Should you do social media? Should you do billboards? Should you do radio, television? Sit down with me. I will give you the cheat code so you don't waste your money when it comes to marketing, advertising, and even hiring a PR company. If you need, as he said, to look good on radio, TV, or your podcast, I even provide you media training so you can, you know, be on these things as a media pro and audio visual. That's something that I also offer. Very low cost when it comes to creating intros, outros, anything that you need, whether it's for podcasts, YouTube television. And last but not least, yes, I am a script consultant and a screenwriter. So quite a bit of things that are happening. And yes, you can even, well, Christy, what I love most about you is your voice. Well, I am the voice for your words. So you can actually book me and uh, just go to the website, peruse and, you know, last but not least, hosting and speaking that is officially available, you know, because I still got to get my media and relations on. So there's just a lot of good, fun things. So when I say go to my website, go home, um, summer internship, learn all about Christy Taylor. You can work with me. Coming soon will be online courses. You can check out with me, me and Taylor, uh, Tina Tilton for the Taylor Tilton. I got my virtual lounge and Del Juan. Yes, we got to work on something. And here for the drama, if you want to get into your acting, yes. I can do, I'm going to start my uh, improv classes. Maybe you need a personal coach. And if you want to 12 months with me, work with me, I'm launching this now. And this is exclusive that I'll be pushing at the Mid-South Entrepreneur thing. Yes, here for the drama and comedy. I think I've shared enough. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me. They'll want to talk more about what I actually got going on. You know, I need to do this more often. I really do need to share more often what I actually have going on. I have a lot going on, but I'm always here for each and every one of you all. Any way that I can be of assistance, sharing my 30, 40 years worth of expertise with you. All right. Thank, and thank hey, you. You are so professional. Now, y'all see why she's one of the hosts, her, Angela Jackson, because they're polished and <laughs> you can hear the years of experience. But just looking at a website, like I always tell uh, entrepreneurs, like, um, or, or, or people that's trying to start up their business. You know, get with people that are already professional and kind of like went into this. And, and this is like, again, I've been on a lot of interviews and uh, man, you always have like the, the, the slide show, the commercials, like, you know, and it's, and, and you working it like it's not foreign to you. You know, it's, it's like, oh, man, this is what I do, you know, so <laughs> that is so true. Y'all should and hire her. Uh, yes, hire me. Work with me. And yeah. if you have, like I said, a student, high school, college, or even non-traditional students, if that means if you are past the age of 30 and you're in school doing anything and you want to work with me this summer, you got 10 or 15 hours to share, you can work with me as an intern. I will teach you everything you know. Six to eight weeks of your life, that's what I'm asking for, so I can push some more things forward. And thank you, Del Juan. Thank you, Del Juan. Thank you. All right. Now, everybody, be sure to once again, go to 901union.com. That's 901union.com. And I just had to put
right, it's a wrap. Thank you, Delwan Coleman, the founder of the Mid South Entrepreneur Expo. We'll be seeing him next Sunday, Sunday, May the 29th at the Starlight. That's right there on that White Station summer area. Black owned. We're going to do it that way. And I'm super excited. And hey, last but not least, as I'm wrapping up here on Facebook and YouTube, hang on with me tonight. I'm going to be talking to a Detroit native on Instagram. Let's go live. We're going to be talking to Rosemary Bay. She is has had a very interesting life and she's now um, on a mission to talk about transforming her generation. So look, look, looking forward to that conversation. All right. We're out. Thank you all. Bye.